So today I'll be teaching you how to make this scan line text effect here in GIMP. I think it looks uh, pretty futuristic, uh, considering how this effect was also used in the game XCOM, which you may have recognized from the effect alone. I'm sorry about the recent lack of uploads. I currently don't have new ideas for another tutorial. If you have something in mind that you want me to do a tutorial on, please leave a comment below and without further ado, let's begin with the tutorial. So we want to head over to File, New, and create a new image of any size you wish. Now make sure black is set as your foreground color and go to Bucket Fill tool. Click once in the canvas to fill it in with black. Now go over to your text tool and you want to make sure you select Futura as your font and the size depending on the size of the image you may wish to change accordingly and the color set to white. Click once in the canvas to add the text box in and type in whatever you want here. Now go to layer or the crop layer. Now you want to go to image, guide, new guide by percent and create uh, a horizontal and vertical guide uh, at both 50% position. Now that that's done, go to your move tool and you want to move your text layer until the crosshair aligns with the intersection of these two guides. Now that that's done, you may notice that uh, the text effect that we're going for has a line just cut through, just cut across the letters, so we will do that right now. We go to the rectangle select tool and you want to select expand from center and you can just click and drag from the uh, from the middle guide like so now go to edit clear select none now that we have that you want to Alpha to selection your current text layer, go to your new layer and this is when we'll create the inner glow uh, around the edges of the text. So go to your bucket fill tool, click on your foreground color swatch and select a neon blue color for that. Click once in the selection to fill it in with the color. Now go to select shrink and shrink it by 2 pixels and also feather it by 10 pixels. Edit, clear, select, none. Now we have created this uh, inner glow here. Now we should uh, rename the original text layer to original so that it's a bit easier for us to refer to it later on in the tutorial. Now you want to alpha to selection your original text layer and create a new layer and drag it all the way to the top of the layer pile. Now you want to go over to the pin brush tool and in the foreground color you want to select a slightly uh, darker color now and you can just vary how dark you want it by sliding the green uh, slider here, hit OK and you want to paint across the corners of the text like what I'm doing now. You are done painting over the corners of the letters here. Go to select none. You want to alpha to selection your original text layer again and create a new layer called outer glow and you want to drag it uh, between the background layer and the original text layer. Now you want to select grow and grow the selection by 10 pixels and go to your paint bucket tool and using the same darker color that you've 
uh, chosen just now. Click once in the marching ants to fit in with the darker blue color and select none. Now go over to your filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And you want to make sure it's around 100. Maybe that's too strong, 50. Hit OK. Now that we have the outer glow here, we want to create the scan lines that we see in the original text here. So we are going to do that right now. You want to create a new layer and name it scan lines. And you again want to drag it all the way to the top of the layer pile. And you want to head over to your blend tool and choose black as your foreground color and make sure you have the gradient preset as FG to transparent and the repeat set it to sawtooth wave and you are going to click and drag up while holding the command or control key to make sure that it's a straight gradient Now that we have that, go to set your blending mode as overlay. And we are pretty much done with the tutorial. If you want more videos like this one, check out my channel and there are also futuristic themed tutorials on there. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like and maybe subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.